If you launch a spacecraft from Earth at the right time and with the right speed, you can arrive at Mars just a few months later. We are going to explore the Hohmann transfer orbit from Earth to Mars. Let's first start by just launching a spacecraft and seeing what happens. Clearly, this was a failed trajectory. That's okay, we can still learn a few things. Notice that this is an elliptical orbit with the Sun at one focus. This means it must obey Kepler's third law relating period to semi-major axis. The spacecraft leaves Earth at perihelion, when it is closest to the Sun. What we want is for the craft to reach Mars when it is farthest from the Sun. This didn't happen on our first launch, but this is only because we didn't launch on the right day. The major axis of its orbit is a sum of the semi-major axes of Earth and Mars. Since Earth has a semi-major axis of exactly one astronomical unit, or AU, and Mars has a semi-major axis of 1.52 AU, the major axis of our spacecraft orbit will be 2.52 AU. Half of this is a semi-major axis of our orbit, or 1.26 AU. Kepler's third law says that the square of the period of our spacecraft orbit will equal the cube of the semi-major axis. We can use this to solve for the period of our orbit. Since 1.26 cubed is 2, and the square root of 2 is 1.41, we know that our spacecraft will take 1.41 years to orbit the Sun. Of course, it travels only half an orbit to get from Earth to Mars, so it will only take 0 0.70 years, which amounts to 8.5 months, or 37 weeks, or just 258 days. How do we apply this knowledge to get the spacecraft to land on Mars? We need to figure out the right launch date so that the craft will leave Earth and arrive at Mars 258 days later. This means at launch time, Earth and Mars have to have the right relative orientations in their orbit. A year on Mars lasts 1.88 Earth years, so 687 days. This means it travels a full circle, or 360 degrees, in 687 days. In 258 days, it travels only 38% of a complete circle, or around 135 degrees. We expect Mars, therefore, to travel by 135 degrees in its circle while the spacecraft is traveling. Since we know landing will always be directly across the orbit from launch, so 180 degrees ahead of Earth at launch, we need to find a spot where at launch, Mars is 180 degrees minus 135 degrees ahead of Earth, or 45 degrees ahead of Earth. It is easy to eyeball a 45 degree angle. Let's give it a shot and try out a few dates. I think that the 20th of June, 2020, is a good launch date. As you can see, the angle formed by lines connecting the Sun to Earth and the Sun to Mars is about 45 degrees. This should give us the right travel time. See if you can apply the same line of reasoning for other launches, say from Venus to Earth or from Mars to Venus.